Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. What do rhinos have to do with U.S. security? Well, if you ask our next guest, who is the uh, chairman of the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee, Ed Royce, he's here to uh, tell us about a bill he's introduced called the Global Anti-Poaching Act. Welcome. Tell us Thank about you, this. Leslie. Good to be with you. Well, the, the basic concept behind the legislation is that the terrorist networks like El Shabaab, for example, that's linked to Al Qaeda, how does it get its money? One of the, one of the points of um, extraction uh, for wealth for El Shabaab is taking down rhinos. They've killed about 1,200 this last year, have been poached, many of them by El Shabaab. 30,000 elephants this last year have been killed for the ivory. Uh, what they do is they just take that ivory and they sell it to criminal syndicates. And the idea is to have the United States not just go after um, uh, drug networks and criminal networks, but specifically target poaching because we have the ability to do that now. That's called the Global Anti-Poaching Act. What kind of international cooperation are you going to get to make this effective? Well, we have the satellite technology. We also have uh, special ops uh, operating, uh, trying to track organizations like Al Shabaab. If we expand this into the anti-poaching effort, we can get cooperation from a lot of the um, uh, countries in Africa that also have an interest because they use this to bring people, you know, this is an asset for them to come see the national parks. Some years ago I had legislation to help set up a national park system in Africa. It's actually in seven different countries. And so this is one of the things that people come to see. And so you've got rangers, park rangers uh, in West Africa, in East Africa that are willing to cooperate uh, with U U.S. So Wildlife Services in this. And then lastly, we've got to target the countries uh, where you end up, you know, in places like Laos or Vietnam, where this rhino horn is distributed. So this legislation will allow U.S. authorities to do this in a way using all the latest technology. Uh -huh, but it seems like it only does work if you get the cooperation in other countries as well. Talk about the technology that's going to be used. You said that it's the kind of technology they use for uh, hunting down drug lords in other countries. Yes, exactly. If you, if you think about uh, the capability, not just uh, by satellite, but also with tracking, uh, the Lord's Resistance Army, if you'll remember that particular criminal enterprise, uh, they've taken child soldiers in four different countries, uh, from Congo to Uganda to South Sudan. And one of the things that we're doing now is tracking them, um, uh, taking them into custody, working with local governments in Uganda uh, in order to take down this uh, gang of uh, warlords who uh, recruit and, and capture young, young kids to either make them con concubines if they're girls or child so soldiers if they're boys. They are also involved in this kind of uh, poaching activity. So we use that expertise that the United States has. We share it with our allies in the region, mm -hmm. and we especially use uh, satellite and other technology in order to, to effectively track and apprehend. Um, even if it's successful, this is one source of income, one source of funding for these terrorist groups. What about the rest? Well, you know, one of the other issues, uh, they used to use diamonds. We used to call them blood diamonds, for example, mm -hmm. for organizations like Al-Shabaab. We've done a lot to cut off the capability uh, of these entities to use this kind of uh, source for, for um, paying for their combat activities. But now uh, they've turned increasingly to poaching, and so poaching is the is the main uh, issue right now in terms of how they get hard currency. Okay, so you've just introduced it. We'll keep an eye on it as it goes along. Thank you very much, <laughs> thank Congressman you, Ed Royce, for being here, and uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.